Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC, GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we're joined by the reigning NSIC Setter of the Week, Tegan Starkey of the Concordia St. Paul Volleyball Team. Tegan, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thanks for having me. As we do each week, let's start with you telling us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I'm from Lakeville, Minnesota. I went to Lakeville South High School specifically. And I am currently majoring here at Concordia in math and actual science, and I'll be a senior this year. I also have a younger sister who plays volleyball at Hamlin, too. All right. And uh, what's your plan with the degree once you're done with volleyball? Um, potentially to go be an actuary, but we're not sure yet. Probably mix in some coaching. I'll be coaching uh, Lakeville South Boys Volleyball this uh, coming up this spring. So I'm excited for that. Well, congratulations on that, and uh, best of luck in the career once volleyball is done. Uh, as you mentioned, you are a senior. You're playing, you've are playing. you been playing the last four years for your father, Brady Starkey, at Concordia St. Paul. I'm sure he's been coaching you your entire life, but what's it been like to play for him at CSP, and what are some of the fondest memories of uh, playing collegiate volleyball with your father? Um, I mean, I've loved playing for my dad for the last four, four years. Some people are like, I could never play for my dad. I'd fight with him all the time. And I think we do a really good job at separating like life in volleyball. And I just, I'm like really grateful that I've been able to play for him this whole time. I feel like college is a time where you're going through some of like your, the best times of your life. And also some of the hardest too. like collegiate sports aren't all like pretty all the time and stuff so you're battling through things so having him there to support me like the entire way through has been um great for me and just like helping me overcome like any struggles that I've gone through and then also him being able to be there for my best friends as well is something like super unique and special that I feel like it's like they, he can have an impact in not only my own life but also like some of the people I care about more than anything like my teammates um Probably some of the fondest memories was when we, well, last year hosting regionals, I loved that environment. The fan environment was awesome. So many people came to watch and it was really cool to see like old alumni too supporting us. Um, my sophomore year winning regionals at Wayne was like an unreal experience. I felt like we really battled through uh, that regional tournament. It's always a battle in the region and stuff. No one gets an easy walk through that. Um, and then going to Seattle and getting national runner up there at the time, losing was hard, but I mean, looking back on it, we, that was an incredible season. And I'm like really proud of that team and what we did. And then even that day losing the national championship, but then being able to go hang out with my teammates and all of our families afterwards, seeing karaoke, it was just probably one of the most fun nights of my nights, of my career here. Quite the run so far and quite the season so far for the Golden Bears. We finished 16 and 2 in the NSIC. You've been named NSIC Setter of the Week six times this season. What do you say? Well, what do you think are the strengths of this Golden Bear team this season? I would say we're pretty different than the last couple of years. Um, our service has always been our like really strong attribute. I really appreciate them. Uh, they make my life a lot easier, and I would say a big thing this year is our defense has really, um, like, picked up and stood out to me. I think our defenders are super fun to play next to. I think they bring out um, better defense in me, and I think they, like, they're just a really fun group to play with, and I think it's allowing us to get a lot of second chance opportunities. Getting It allows me to help try and get our hitters better opportunities to score. Um, and so that's been really fun this year, I'd say strength wise. Uh, NSIC tournament started this week, a hard fought match in the opening round, uh, defeating Minnesota state last night in four sets, uh, after dropping the first set, what adjustments were made to help Paul with those final three? I would say, um, after that first set, just like each person focusing individually on like handling their own nerves I think being at the conference tournament is a really exciting thing but it can also be like a little nerve-wracking so just kind of being able to kind of regroup after that first set and each person kind of taking ownership of what they're doing and then being able to battle through that I thought like each person was it I thought we started blocking better I thought both teams served really tough that game and I was really impressed with our serve received there uh being able to handle some of those serves um, on both ends 
and I would say just like trying to be aggressive the whole time and stuff sometimes like when you get in those situations people can tend to play it safe but just trying to proud of our hitters for just like being aggressive in those like big moments and pressure moments near the end. On to the NSIC semifinals at the final site, uh, where you take on third-seeded Wayne State on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Golden Bears took uh, down the Wildcats 3-1 in early November in St. Paul. What would be key factors on Saturday for the Golden Bears to continue to advance in the tournament? Um, Wayne's definitely a team where they don't make a lot of errors, so you really have to focus on earning your points there. So us being just very disciplined on defense, being willing to grind plays out, I think that's going to be really key for us. Us serving tough. Um, I mean, when they're in system, they're really, really hard to defend. So yeah, us putting pressure on them from the service line. If the serves are in too, that's absolutely a bonus. Um, and then, yeah, I would just say scrapping hard on defense and then really, yeah, focusing on serving. Uh, you kind of alluded to this earlier, but it's postseason. Uh, you're a pretty safe lock to make the NCAA region uh, at, at large, uh, being ranked second in the last regional ranking. A new one comes out this week. But uh, how much pressure is there to continue to perform well leading into the NCAA tournament? There's not necessarily pressure besides the fact that we still want to win. We still want to do well. I would say this is a really good opportunity to us to like practice being in those pressure situations. Sometimes it's hard to emulate these kind of situations at practice. So the more opportunities we give ourselves to be in them in a real match setting is going to help us in the future, like practicing handling that pressure in like a regional situation because there will be pressure in regions. Yeah, basically, you mentioned it earlier with uh, the runs you've made uh, a couple of years ago, making the for the national championships, the Elite Eight. Uh, how is playing in the NSIC help prepare you for NCAA play? The NSIC is a really tough conference. You can't just walk into any gym here and expect to just beat a team because they will always push back on you. I think we have an extremely tough conference. Like our middle of the pack is nowhere near any other conferences middle of the pack. Like they, if you don't show up to play, they will pick you off and every team is going to come in ready to battle you. So I think that's been really good to prepare for us. We've had a lot of four or five set matches this year um, that we've been forced to grind out and kind of um, take care of our, our own stuff, which has been really good practice for us over the season, I think, and has helped our team just um, grow stronger physically and mentally. It's a relatively short trip this week to St. Cloud, uh, but there's some long hauls in the NSIC. What do you think you'll remember most about some of those long weekend road trips? Um, I, I like playing in other gyms personally. I think it's, I think it's fun to play in a new environment, a different environment. And I like, uh, without like seeing the other team's fans. And I think some of the other team's fans are really creative with their, uh, cheers or like taunting against us so I think it's pretty fun I think it's pretty funny to play against those team and I enjoy going to other gyms and seeing and then just seeing like other campuses too and what people what people do there so yeah I don't necessarily like bus rides in general I get pretty car sick so but I like actually being in the other gym other gym and uh, those fans can get pretty creative uh, trying to rile the other team up uh, I got the final question for you. What's been the best piece of advice you've received during your athletic career? The best piece of advice would be uh, no one said you had to suck the entire match. So I think that's been pretty key for our team this year. Like if we start off rough, no one says we have to suck the entire time. So I think it's important to be able to try and turn it around after having a rough go for a while. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you have a short memory. Uh, what does Ted Lasso say? Be a goldfish. So same type of thought there. Uh, that's going to wrap up this week's show. Thanks again to our sponsor, GPAC. Tegan, best of luck to you and the Golden Bears the rest of the season. Thank you.